Welcome back, welcome back. This is episode 10. And we're going to dive into some Indian inspired butter shrimp. And really what this is, is I just took the recipe for butter chicken and took the sauce and kind of did just a couple of turns because I wanted to be more suited for pasta, um, hence adding wine. And uh, we're going to get into this. You're going to start off by cleaning your shrimp. Mine was already split, but I did have shell, so I take the shell off, make sure the veins are cleaned out, and I'm going to rinse it a couple of times with water. And then after I rinse it a few times with water, I do a squeeze of lemon and just agitate it good. Rinse that off and do one final rinse to get the lemon juice off. And then we're all set with uh, de-shelling, making sure they're de-veined, and then prepping to season them. So today I'm using a new ingredient, is a ginger garlic paste. It's definitely gonna be on the list of pantry items going forward. Next I'm adding sweet chili fire, which is just like an all-purpose Indian seasoning that has a little, bit, a little spice and a little sweetness to it. If you don't have it, just get gram masala. It's more universal item, but I like the sets from him. Next, I'm also gonna add some turmeric. You know, so we're gonna get that sweet chili fire and the turmeric is going to give you a kind of curry vibe and a little bit of oil and then lastly i'm going to finish it with a squeeze of lemon then you want to go in and give it a nice little massage i'm wearing a glove because turmeric will stain your skin um so just keep that in mind if you don't mind it that's fine but you might want to glove up for this one now the spice mode is not very salt forward, so I went ahead and added some extra salt at the end. So a quick tip if you garden, I garden a little bit and I freeze my extra tomatoes that I know I can't use, I freeze them whole. Then I just put them in hot water. You don't even need them to thaw all the way. A couple of minutes in the hot water is gonna loosen the skin and it'll just peel right off, especially for recipes you don't want skin in. This one is a texture thing for me. Um, so while they're sitting in the warm water, I chop up my onion and then by the time I'm finished chopping my onion, the tomatoes are soft enough to easily remove the skin and then, you know, I just chop them easily. Just bear in mind, they're a bit slippery when they're frozen, so I always cut them in half first so I can put them on a flat surface just to be safe while I'm cutting. Now you're going to grab your favorite pasta. I like thin spaghetti, so that's what I chose. And you're just going to follow the boxes recommended. Cook times, you want it to be al dente, maybe even slightly under al dente because you will be putting that pasta in the pan with the sauce so you can soak up some good flavors. I have ghee and you can use that because it's a high burning temperature. But I figured most people don't have it. So you just take some butter, you take some olive oil and mix it together. And now stop your butter from burning. It's browning because I have a hot pan because I want to sear my shrimp so they don't overcook. So we're going to do a real quick cook. Um, but it's fine. It didn't burn or anything. I put my shrimp right in there, those marinated shrimp. And you're just going to turn them and, and, and give them a good cooking on both sides. Let them be a little underdone because again we're going to incorporate these back into the sauce once the sauce is done and that'll stop you from having real rubbery shrimp so we're going to cook them i would say about three minutes per side on medium to medium high heat again you don't want to cook them low and slow you want to quick flash cook them and get a good sear and just have them slightly underdone and then you're going to remove them from the pan and then that you know that curry sauce really in the pan we're gonna really build some flavor for our butter sauce so we're gonna put that one whole red onion that I chopped you can rough chop it because we're gonna blend it so you don't need to fine dice it it's gonna get blended down so we're gonna put it in that pan and we're just gonna keep them moving and we're gonna cook them down a little bit then once they cook down some start to get a little soft then we're gonna go in with our ginger 
garlic paste. And once that incorporates well and keep it moving so it doesn't burn, right? Because we're still kind of on the medium, medium high heat. Then we're gonna add our tomato and that tomato is gonna give us some hydration and start to give us a little protection from the pan. And then you can drop it to medium at that point because we're gonna wanna cook those tomatoes down and get them nice and sweet and bring out their flavor and uh, really almost caramelizing all the flavors and blue and those seasonings. Now that my pasta is almost done, I'm gonna go grab a cup or a cup or half of pasta water that's used for later. Now we're gonna season our butter sauce. So I'm going in with some sweet chili fire. Again, you can omit this and use gram masala. I'm gonna use gram masala, but I would use more if I didn't have the sweet chili fire. So just use more. If you don't, you know, you don't need to go buy two seasonings. I have it, I enjoy it. Um, so I added it in there. If you don't have it and you wanna add heat, you can try some kind of chili powder or a cayenne powder, whatever your preferred heat source is, you can add it in there and that'll give you a little bit more spice. Now we wanna bring a little bit of balance to our dish, so we're gonna add some sugar. I'm using monk fruit sugar because I like to cook with it and I think it's a great taste. In a lot of brands, I don't really like um, the sugar-free sugar, but you can use regular sugar, you can use cane sugar, natural sugar. Um, any of that'll work, but that's just to kind of bite into some of that tomato and very heavy flavors. All right, and what it would a butter sauce be with no butter? So we're gonna add a little bit of butter right here. You can add more or less. Um, how I season, I always go light the first round and then I taste it and I start adjusting. Because remember, especially with salt, when you first put it into the dish and taste it, you're not gonna taste it. It needs to kind of melt and get around that pan a little bit. So always make sure you well incorporate your seasons and salt. Give it some time to disperse and then taste it and then adjust from there. You can always add more, but you can't take it away. So we'll call that good. It was working for me. The salt was where I wanted to be. So I'm gonna do my final touches before I blend it. I'm gonna put some wine in there. I use Chardonnay, you can use any white wine. Just put a splash in there, it's just gonna lift it. It's gonna give it some acid. And then I'm also gonna finish it with a little lemon juice as well. Just a squeeze, maybe a you know, teaspoon or two. Um, and again, it's cutting into these very rich flavors. We wanna make sure it's balanced and not too heavy. Now we're gonna take our sauce off the heat and this is what it should look like. It should be nice and cooked down. And then we're gonna let it cool just a tad before we put it into the blender. Now make sure your blender can do hot items. If not, you're gonna need to let it cool a little longer. And I'm gonna use that pasta water that we took out to hydrate it and make sure it blends well and also to give the consistency that I want because we want it to coat the pasta well. All right, now once you have it blended nice and smooth, you're gonna add it back to the pan. And then we're gonna heat it up on low, just have a gentle simmer. Next, we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream. And really, this is just a splash to give it a little bit of richness. And it's gonna help it hold on to that pasta noodle and coat it very nicely. Now the work is done. Time to add the shrimp back into the sauce. And we're just, you know, we're gonna let it mellow for a couple of minutes. So we're gonna just let it simmer real low for about two or three minutes and that's just gonna finish up the shrimp and infuse some of that shrimp curry goodness into our butter sauce. And then that's really a wrap. We're gonna add the noodles and toss them, make sure they're coated really well. And it's time to plate it up. It's really hard to capture how awesome this thing was and look because it's yellow <laughs> but it was so delicious it works so well with pasta make sure you squeeze that lemon on there for the finishing touch you can also top it with cilantro enjoy